Hello my soccer universe, as the temperatures are finally getting a little bit colder, not that I really want it to get colder, but I think it is a better sign that things are getting colder and we're going into winter, feels a little bit more normal. It's apt to show you another Nordic jersey and it's this Iceland 2018-19 jersey. Now, again, the story, how did this end up in my collection? Well, this is not my first Iceland jersey. My first Iceland jersey, and I still ha have it here, is this 1617 home jersey, famous, of course, for beating Austria and England at the Euros back then. The problem is that this one is a fake or a really, really basic copy, but I think uh, fake, unfortunately, didn't pay uh, much. But you know, the telltale signs, there should be a band saying Island, Island, Island. Also, in general, the pattern doesn't look quite right. It's one of the few fakes that are still in the house. I don't consider it part of my collection, but my little daughter uh, uses a pajama and for that I'm fine with it. Now, of course, having this fake and losing in a way an Iceland shirt, I needed to uh, be replaced ideally with the same one. Uh, however, I got an opportunity once the Turkish shirt and you can uh, see the video on that one turned out to be not exactly the one that I had ordered, classic football shirts gave me um, more or less a gift card, I think it was in 2020, because back then I still didn't have to pay import taxes and so on, they meanwhile rectified that again, so classic football shirts is safe to order from me from Europe as long as it's below 150 euros. Um, but yeah, I got some um, money as a gift card to make up for the error, and that one covered basically this shirt that they had on sale. And this is probably one of the uh, mass produced shirts because Iceland was all the rage in 2018. Teeny tiny island qualifying for, for the World Cup. What a better story there was. And then I said, while I really prefer the 2016 and even the one that was for 2014 a little bit more because a little bit more the Icelandic flag pattern. And if you check out my blog post I made, I'm still not entirely sold. I said, well, this might be a good makeup jersey or uh, replacement jersey it is kind of historic it's the only time that they played at the world cup although i think losing both games of wearing this shirt and after the world cup it quickly went down but we'll talk about that at the end of the video now even if there wasn't the area logo here uh i would have been immediately able to tell you area this is area because at that time area really loved the dot patterns and you see that the sleeve uh, is all dots, 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 dots. The same thing what they did for 2016. Now, the theme of this jersey was to have a very Icelandic jersey uh, with fire and ice, because this is what Iceland is all about. It's a cold island, but they're all the volcanoes. And so actually, I really like the idea of the fire coming up here. You have the ice on top and also the blue is a little bit icy. I would have wished, you know, we have, you see a little bit the Icelandic flag, that, uh, you know, the Scandinavian cross is here and this is the old crest. The new one is better, however, it misses a key point, um, but you know, it's fine to have it this way. I really wish that they could have incorporated this pattern here somewhere in the collar. At the very least, that would be, I think, that's uh, in any way a chance missed. However, I really like the fire and ice idea. You have the white fading into the blue. On the back of the sleeve, there's almost no red red in anymore. So if you look at the back, uh, it basically goes di uh, directly from ice to water, if you like, also kind of Icelandic. Uh, and there, of course, you have the Icelandic flag. Um, but the red shining through adds really something. And there's a lot of interest in that um, sleeve. It also, the red is shining through here on the side. It reminds me a little bit of the France 2002 jersey. Uh, but I really thought this is an interesting part. So the fire is always coming through in the water what as well. So as the theme, it's really cool. Um, and I think if it was just the sleeves, I would love it. I'm just not sure, but why the collar has this weird inset here on the front. That to me is a little bit off. Here is of course the Island, 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 which is something similar they had on the 2016 home shirt. And other than that, it's relatively plain. So I think the one thing I, th I don't like about this jersey is the collar, uh, but the rest I think is actually quite nice. And it's also for an area jersey, it's not too small. I think this one is an XL and it fits more or less like an XL. Also, I think the blue is quite nice. It is a blank, but you know, that's fine by me. But I think it's an overall a really interesting, as I said, the red is here. Honestly, the white one, 
where you just have here this all white and the rest is here the same works probably just a tad better even now for me this jersey yes is historic in, in the sense that this was the first time that iceland was at the world cup and they wore this jersey at the world cup in russia not in the uh, draw against argentina but they wore it in the upcoming games against nigeria where they lost and also i think against croatia they lost they wore uh, this jersey um it is also because in the nations league thereafter then iceland started to get heavily beaten it's kind of the end of the era this is really the end of the great Icelandic teams is symbolized by this jer uh, jer uh, jersey. Uh, they almost qualified for 2014, then Euro 2016 qualifying, they were outstanding. They had the great Euro 2016 that carried them also through to the World Verbal Cup, but then in, in, in the end, it had to, in a way, come to an end. And if you dig a little bit deeper, the end was actually quite ugly overall. Um, yeah, let's say the Icelandic players didn't crown themselves in outstanding, uh, upstanding behavior. So uh, it's kind of a bittersweet jer uh, jersey. As a jersey itself, I think I really like, I like the sign. And this is probably better than what Puma has put out for, for, for them. Although I still think that the crest here would need some work. Uh, the question, of course, is now, uh, are there more Icelandic jerseys for me on the horizon? Yes, I would like to have the 2016 uh, one. I have seen it. I just, price-wise, it doesn't quite yet fit in my budget, but I potentially might get uh, that one. Um, although, if I had the chance, I probably now would get the white one. Although, the, you know, the blue one, that is probably the more famous one. We'll see. It's not high on the list because at the, uh, at the moment Iceland is basically coming uh, where they, I don't want to say where they, they belong, but where you were used to see them as a team that is hard to play against, but it is not challenging the big ones as well. It's also interesting that when you think Nordic countries, there's two mainstays, which are Sweden and Denmark, who are always kind of fighting who is the better one taking turns. And then we had kind of the different phases. We had the Norway team of the 90s. We have now this uh, Iceland team of the 2010s. And I think maybe in the 2020s we get Finland. But, you know, it always comes and goes in cycles. I think Norway is probably on the up as well. In any case, be it as it may, let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!